Hello and welcome to our presentation on the Entry to Practice Competencies for Ontario Registered Practical Nurses. This lecture PowerPoint was developed by Julian Faulkner and Sandy Madorn for the development of self within the profession course. The purpose of this lecture PowerPoint is to review the Entry to Practice Competencies for Ontario RPMs and to help you understand how these apply to you. The learning objectives for this concept are to identify the nine assumptions for all new graduate practical nurses in Ontario. To state the ten expectations for which entry-level RPNs are held accountable. To identify and list the four competency categories. And to explore the 121 competencies. To apply the decision-making practice framework to one's own practice and to define key terms related to RPN practice. The Entry to Practice Competency Guideline sets out for the public, employers, educators and nurses practice and knowledge expectations for RPNs in Ontario. This guideline is framed within the client-centred approach to care and reflects the current healthcare environment in which RPNs will work. It describes the expectations placed on all RPNs entering practice and makes known the professional responsibility and accountability to which RPNs in Ontario are held. This guideline is based on nine assumptions about the practical nurse entering practice. These are stated on page three of the document. Page 4, under the entry-level RPN profile, lists the 10 expectations to which each nurse will be held accountable. There are four general competency areas. Professional responsibility and accountability, ethical practice, service to the public and self-regulation. Within these four categories are the 121 specific competencies. Competencies number 1 to 62 describe professional responsibility and accountability. Numbers 63 to 83 state ethical practice expectations. Service to the public is listed under numbers 84 to 102. And self-regulation is stated in 103 to 121. Each of these competencies is equally important and more often than not, nurses will engage in a number of these simultaneously. Each of the four general competency areas, professional responsibility and accountability, ethical practice, service to the public and self-regulation are organized into subsections. Each section reflects a category in the nursing process, that is assessment or planning, or implementation or evaluation. The College of Nurses of Ontario states that knowledge can be equated to assessment and knowledge application to planning, implementation and evaluation. The client, nurse and interprofessional healthcare team work collaboratively. The client is always central to the team. When applying the competencies, it is important to understand that each competency is no more, nor no less, important than any other. To provide safe, ethical and competent care, the RPN will apply many of the competencies simultaneously. The client, nurse and interventional each RPN is responsible for assessing and understanding his or her own level of competency when caring for clients. It is important you know your limitations, that is, your knowledge, skill and experience, and obtain assistance as needed. Although RPNs work autonomously, working autonomously applies only so far as your limitations. New nursing graduates should expect to seek out assistance and collaborate with more experienced registered nurses, either RPNs or RNs, in order to maintain client safety and to build competence. Professional responsibility and accountability is based on the following. It demonstrates professional conduct 
Nurses practice in accordance with legislation and the standard as determined by the College of Nurses of Ontario and the practice setting where you are working and demonstrates that the primary duty is to the client to ensure safe, competent, ethical care. Ethical practice. Here, the nurse will demonstrate competence in professional judgments and practice decisions by applying principles implied in the ethical framework and by using knowledge from many sources. Consider your ways of knowing in nursing. Engaging in critical thinking to inform clinical decision making, which includes both systematic and analytical processes, along with reflective and critical processes. Establishes the therapeutic caring and culturally safe relationships with clients and healthcare team members based on appropriate relational boundaries and respect. Service to the public. The nurse demonstrates an understanding of the concept of public protection and the duty to practice nursing in collaboration with clients and other members of the healthcare team to provide and improve healthcare services in the best interests of the public. Self-regulation. The nurse demonstrates an understanding of professional self-regulation by developing and enhancing one's competence ensuring consistently safe practice and ensuring and maintaining one's fitness to practice. Examples of knowledge and where you've learned one might be number 15, professional responsibility and accountability, where, you dem where it states demonstrates knowledge of the determinants of health. This was covered in semester one health and healing. Ethical practice number 68 demonstrates knowledge of informed consent as it applies in multiple contexts was covered in semesters 1 and 2 in your community courses. Service to the public number 87 identifies the needs of the unique community in the practice environment for example was covered in semester 1 community in your school visit. And self-regulation number 106 uses the standards of practice to assess one's competence to identify gaps in knowledge, skill and judgment and attitude by a evaluating one's practice has been covered every semester when creating your learning plan. In conclusion, all RPNs must meet the entry to practice competencies. If an RPN is unsure about competence, to provide care, he or she must obtain assistance as well as developing a learning plan for obtaining competence. And finally, knowledge of scope of practice as well as personal limitations such as knowledge, skill, experience and attitude is vital. At this point, I would like you to work complete the worksheet provided.